Well, certainly gray out there today, which is not a surprise. This is what we were expecting. A very cloudy day here across Connecticut. A live look on our iCam uh, right now in Middletown showing the clouds. But it's the shoreline where we're starting to run into more issues. The iCam in New Haven is working, but we can't see much of anything. Fog has become quite dense. Just a little bit of light able to be made out near the green. Otherwise, uh, 48 degrees in the Elm City. And a live look right now in our iCam in Old Saybrook showing much of the same. So this is what we'll be dealing with, especially at the shoreline as the morning goes on. Temperatures themselves very mild. 50 in Danbury and Hartford right now. 48 in Norwich. 46 in Waterbury and Torrington. And yesterday we did hit 60 degrees again. So that makes for two 60 plus degree days in the month of March this year. Last year we had nine days. 2021 we had 12 days tracking some showers off to our west could be some light sprinkles right along the Massachusetts border near Enfield uh, into Suffield at this point in time early morning pinpoint Doppler showing those as they work their way through these aren't really a huge issue they're very light and they'll be pretty spotty uh, in coverage and that's what we expect as the day goes on future cast here showing an increase in clouds for the remainder of the day spotty showers scattered showers especially this afternoon and this evening we'll get one last push of showers through later on tonight before we actually dry out a bit uh, heading into the day tomorrow a mix of sun and clouds possibly mostly cloudy tomorrow depending on exactly where and how far south high pressure makes it and that's going to also have an impact on what we uh, see as we begin the weekend so we here's our players high pressure uh, near Toronto we've got a uh, low pressure off to the east and a stationary front in between reinforcing wind out of the northeast pulling in chillier air for us. So as precip gets going Saturday morning, we actually end up with the potential for a bit of wintry mix. Uh, this will likely be later Saturday morning and the precip overall has trended a bit slower. So we're expecting rain to last into Saturday night and possibly even early Sunday morning. With the second area of low pressure developing, we never end up in the warm part of this storm. So we're expecting a chilly day overall on Saturday. Saturday. Here is both the European and the American models showing the potential again for some wintry mix as everything develops, eventually flipping over to just plain old rain and steady rain by Saturday evening. That's a snapshot of five o'clock. So we do uh, not have to worry too much about impacts from this, but it does look like if you had weekend plans, especially outdoor weekend plans yesterday, Nicole chatted about Easter events going on. Could be a bit wet. Could be a bit chilly and raw. Temperatures today, though, still mild, uh, expecting some low 60s in the mix, otherwise upper 50s tonight. Upper 30s right along uh, the Massachusetts border, elsewhere low 40s. Early warning seven day focused on a few things here today. Breezy with some showers out there. Tomorrow, a transition day. Saturday, breezy and chilly. By Sunday, we're only in the mid 50s and it's windier. We do recover a bit Monday. Another storm system develops next week, Tuesday into Wednesday. What starts as rain could end as a few flakes. Thankfully, Nicole, there's still plenty of time for that to change. All right, that's good. And yes, there are a lot of Easter events happening this weekend. So thank you for, for reminding us that Easter is just around the corner, folks. All right.